Good day, everyone. My name is Uli Idiolagoki. Today, I have the incredible opportunity to interview the Guinness World Record holder in the category of fastest time to complete five skin feet records, which lasted for 14 minutes, 56 seconds. This record was previously held by a South African Enrico Springfield, which lasted for 18 minutes. And today, permit me to introduce to you the new Guinness World Record holder in that category. In person of Mr. Uyemi Kudus, popularly addressed as Mr. Ombu, 400 level student, University of Illinois, Department of Statistics, Faculty of Physical Sciences. So, who is Mr. Uyemi Kudus? Give us a brief introduction about yourself. Thank you very much. I am Uyemi Kudus Anibayo. Optimally addressed as Mr. Ombu. I am a young and promising individual from the streets of Lagos. I'm 400 level student in the Department of Statistics in the Faculty of Physical Sciences in the University of Ohio. Yes, I bought the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to complete five skin feed purpose just recently back in January 2024. Thank you. Amy, how long have you been into business and what spurred you to apply for Guinness World Record? Thank you very much. I've been into business since 2017, and that is about eight years from now. Meanwhile, I got my professional certificate in 2021. That's about three years from now. Meanwhile, um, I've been into business for functioning to this moment, back since um, 2017. What poured me into applying for GWR is passion and the belief that I have for myself and also the love for this craft that i am into meanwhile while applying i faced several challenges by registering although i wasn't able to uh, maneuver and navigate my way through the gwr websites but meanwhile i was able to finally achieve it due to the help of some of my colleagues that were able to come on board and assisted me with the registration and through the record attempts down to the achieving of this particular feat. Thank okay, you. thank you. On the scale of 10, barbing or statistics? Barbing. Why barbing? It is barbing because it is a professional skill and also it is a gift that I actually am endowed with. It's a talent that I have. So I so much believe in barbing than even the statistics that I came to study down in the university. However, as a data analyst and a statistician in view, I have the belief that I will do well in the data analysis industry and most especially in data science because I'm a first class student as at this moment and I'm looking forward to graduate as a first class graduate in the nearest future. So I have the belief that I can actually achieve a greater fit with statistics and also do well in the barbing industry. Thank you very much. What inspired you to venture into this vocational field? Yes, I would say passion. We passionate about greatness because I really, as a university scholar, how were you able to combine your spring activities with your vocation? Yes, thank you very much for that question. University scholar, I was able to achieve the science. I my focus and uh, my perseverance. Simply because while on campus, I do mobile baggy. We are on here. I do full scale baggy. That means whenever I'm on campus, I do home services. When I'm at home, I do full scale baggy. So, and as a focused and determined individual, I was able to combine my academics alongside my vocation. What were the challenges you faced before, during, and after the attempt? And how were you able to overcome it? Very much. I faced a lot of challenges, part of which is yes, the major challenges that I faced before the um, record of friend was the challenges of uh, sponsorship, the venue, and health communication. The publicity, most of the special class of While I was preparing, I was not able to set up a team of people that will assist me uh, for non training. During that time, I was trying to search for people to sponsor as well and uh, some PR athletes. So I was able to come in contact with some individuals, especially the student union executives. The student union uh, presidents assisted me to connect me with several people that would come on board to assist me to achieve this dream of mine. 
And then I was able to do that with the help of the school management and also yeah, several other partners. Mm-hmm. I mean, part of them is a toy salon at GC Corset. Mm-hmm. They were able to assist me with some of their tools and some of the items that were used during the record of them. <laughs> and also the <laughs> PR <laughs> was a session. And I say, because they were able to stand with me. And also the students coming in, yeah. just especially, well, they gave me the maximum publicity mm-hmm. that yeah. is able to put me as set me to see. Thank you. Our Guinness World Record order, fastest time to complete five skin feats, Eckert. What message do you have for those aspiring to break Guinness World Record? Thank you very much. The message that I have for those that are aspiring to break the Guinness World Record in the nearest future is that they have to have a drink. Most importantly, you must be consistent in whatever craft or endeavor that you are currently. You must be consistent and be prepared because when preparation meets opportunity, then it becomes a success. So you have to have a dream and also prepare towards achieving that dream. It is important that you are consistent and most especially with God, all things are possible. You have to believe in yourself. Thank you very much. The first is on when preparation meets opportunity, it becomes a success. So, Mr. Oyemi, you can categorically tell us that that is the philosophy you've been applying to your success story. Yes, most especially as the hashtag implies, faith to fame. It is important that you have to prepare. As a matter of fact, my story isn't a one of accident or um, an opportunist. I'm someone that has always been prepared for this journey and so far so good. I've been able to nurture myself and develop myself in accordance to this particular story. So it is actually born out of preparation and not born out of accident. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.